Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles welcoming you to another installment of Lyles Figure Files. 2021 is almost in the books. And when I go through, I started writing down and jotting down some figures that I'm going to put in for my best of 2021. I'm absolutely including some members of Jazzwares, AW Unrivaled and Unmatched line. I loved what they've done. Uh, the articulation was great. The first wave way back when had some issues with paint and skin tones had kind of looking a little funky. They've had a few scaling issues, but for the most part, this has been a really good entry for Jazzwares. Like they haven't been doing a ton of wrestling figures and they brought in some great articulation, really good likenesses, added some useful accessories and have fleshed out this AEW roster pretty quickly in a short amount of time while incorporating variants of the popular characters like the elite, the inner circle members and flesh, just getting more of those figures out. So they've added the unmatched line to get some more figures out quicker while we're waiting on a refresh from the unmatched series. So wave one, we had our first Dr. Britt Baker wave two, which is now starting to arrive got Sting, Ty Conti, and now with wave three, we're getting half of one of AEW's longest tenured factions, the Dark Order. And it was really cool because these guys have been players basically since the first episode of Dynamite. And it's really nice to get all these guys, or at least most of the principal members, in one wave. This is something we wouldn't see from Mattel because they just couldn't, they don't have the bandwidth really to spend so much on one faction like you'd never see them do like a legends line of the corporation or degeneration x or the four horsemen they'd mix it up for AEW, jazz was like now nah, we've got enough people want these figures and they're all new so there's not an issue of repaints or we need to put in a moxley or a chris jericho they just let's throw in the dark order and i love that approach because it's like yeah let's let's get more figures more first in the line figures right away and if you do a dark order wave You've got to start with Mr. Brody Lee. And I love that we're getting him. Uh, one of the best aspects of wrestling figure lines is we can commemorate, recognize, salute, and honor those guys who aren't with us anymore. And we can still pull out those dream matches. We can still reenact some of their best matches. Like with the Kerry Von Eric figure, we can have him fight Michael Hayes, have the Freebirds versus the Von Erics, just stuff like that. So we can have Yokozuna still fighting Bret Hart or The Undertaker. It's just, those, that's one of the coolest parts about a wrestling figure line to me. And so I can do this with so many, sadly, because so many guys aren't with us anymore. And Mr. Brody Lee is somebody that Jazz wears and the John Hoover family decided we should get in this line and it wasn't going to be disrespectful to include him. They waited a little bit just so it didn't feel like they were cashing in on his death, which is classy. But we actually get him now. And that head sculpt is great. And he comes with the TNT title. The only thing missing to me is his uh, trench coat robe and a roll of paper for all of you being the lead fans. But this is a really nice figure. He, of course, needs to be one of the two chase figures in this wave. And this one features more of a dark order color scheme with the black and purple and the eye, the ominous eye looking out here. They actually like the original non-chase version, but this is one that if I happen to find one of the shells, I'd actually get just because of the difference and it kind of matches up better with the rest of the Dark Order. So really nice getting the option to have two versions of Mr. Brody Lee right away. Next up is probably my favorite one of this wave, just because Evil Uno has such a unique look. And they and he, he really makes for a good figure. And they did a great job with it. You see the different look to his wrist tape, the really tremendous work on that mask with the teeth and the eye sockets showing out through the mask. And the, just the detail on the mask itself. They got his outfit looking good and just all the studs. And, this is where Jazz Wears really shows up here, where they do all this great attention to detail. I hope his articulation with that torso isn't hindered too much from that overlay piece. Um, but look at all that great detail and all the black and purple. Really nice. I love the color scheme of the Dark Order and the socks showing through. Just a really good sculpt. 
and I cannot wait to see him and grab him for my collection. Next up is his tag team partner, Stu Grayson, and he comes with his gladiator skirt. Now, I didn't get a picture to show him just in his regular tights, but that's nice so we can see what he would look like on his way to the ring. Again, he has very unique wrist tape. He's got his armband and a really fierce expression that looks good so if you wanted to you could also pair him with the war raiders viking raiders whatever they call those guys over in wwe so you'd have a, a six man for your dream federation if you wanted to pull that off too but really nice work on that skirt with all the holes and the just the shredded details on it just really cool Next up is Johnny Hungy, and you can see the Jazz Warriors actually tried to incorporate a bigger bicep form. That's a nice touch. He definitely looks like he's going to be shorter, which is perfect. I think they've had some issues making some guys a little bit too tall, but by and large, they've done a better job with shorter guys on the roster and thinner guys, and he looks like he's got that bulk on his thighs and his arms, so nice work. He's got his rogue as well. The only thing missing from this wave is his tag team partner, Alex Reynolds. Hopefully he'll get included in the next wave or very soon so we can have those guys just to add another tag team to the mix. But yeah, I, I like this. One of the cool things with Jazz Wears is you know they're going to incorporate different head sculpts. So we've got this calm, serene one. The next one will probably have an excited head sculpt for him. So we can mix and match those really quickly and really easy thanks to their easy to take off head sculpts. And next up and final member of this wave is Anna J. And I always think that the hardest thing for any company, for any figure company, is to get the likeness of attractive women into figure form. And I think they did a tremendous, tremendous job on her head sculpt. I mean, it looks like Anna J. They've got the, the nose, the lips down, the eyes. Her hair looks really good, too. I mean, you know, that that's always something that kind of feels like they slap it on at the end. But they did a really nice job here. Got a really colorful outfit. You can see all the different details on it. The polka dot kind of studded knee pads. And just this actually captures her frame really well. So, you know, sometimes it's like one size fits all for female figures. But I think they did a really, really nice job with this. My only thing is this chase figure looks better it just has a cooler outfit than the original one and i really want this one because i feel like this is more of a dark order anna J. and it'd be kind of cool if they threw on her mask as well from that two seconds where they were like let's cover her face and hopefully every member of the dark order has the hand sculpt where they can make the gesture of the dark order but I was really impressed with this setup here, this wave. I should have included a picture of Ty Conti so you could see what she looked like. But really great job. I always think they do a really, they really take some nice attention to including appropriate accessories. So I assume maybe we'll actually see his ring jacket. We'll see something else with him for the chase figure. I don't think there's anything else to add for Evil Uno. But Stu Grayson may have another head sculpt. One with his with a closed mouth. There are lots of different options here. And Johnny Hungry, of course. Maybe we can have a, a shirt that says, or shirt, or a sign that says Budge. Um, but just really nice job on these guys. So I'm really impressed with what they've done. And hopefully they get another wave or just kind of dedicate most of another wave to including the rest of the members of the Dark Order. Cole Cabana, Alex Reynolds, Preston Vance, and Alan Angels. I mean, that's, that's wild that they gave us a full dedicated wave for the Dark Order. And there's still so many more left. But hopefully it won't take too long so we can have a complete Dark Order. But yeah, really like this. Great wave. AEW is just killing it. And Jazz Wears is doing an amazing job filling out this AEW roster. I can't wait to see what the Team Taz focus wave looks like because they've got that one coming too and unrivaled. So that'll be fun. Really looking forward to it. And now it's time for me to get back to watching Dynamite because it's Wednesday night. So I just wanted to record this real fast, show these off in case you missed it earlier. But again, Jazzwares is doing a great job and their figures are up on Amazon. So you can find them without too much trouble now. And they're always on the shelf too. So check them out. And definitely appreciate a wrestling figure line that has some great accessories, great articulation, and killer likenesses because they're knocking it out. So check it out. Thanks as always for watching this episode of Laos Figure Files has been filed.